Good afternoon, MPC. Kasama na natin si Chief Presidential Legal Counsel and Presidential Spokesperson, Salvador Panelo. Good afternoon. Parang nasa ano lahat yata, Black Nazarin yung mga reporters. Ha? There are only six of you. Seven. <laughs> ah, sampu lang pala. Hindi, seven lang, eight. Anyway, <clears throat> We would like to confirm the enactment <clears throat> and the signing of the salary in standardization law for 2019. <clears throat> you recall that this was certified as urgent by the president. <clears throat> and in fact, during the State of the Nation address, he mentioned <clears throat> about this. Of course, the desire of the president is to upgrade the standard of living of government employees. And <clears throat> this measure will rationalize the compensation of all civilian personnel, including those in the legislative and judicial branches, as well as of the local government units under certain conditions, the purpose of which is to create an atmosphere which would promote excellence in the service, providing for a performance-based incentive scheme to reward outstanding public servants. And let me say that this was the initiative of the president and has, in fact, his strong support during the deliberations in Congress. <clears throat> I'm sure this law will benefit those hardworking men and women in the government including the most neglected sector in the bureaucracy. And I refer to the teachers and the nurses. And of statement. Question, Marisal Halili. Sir, did the president adopt the version of the Congress? Since I haven't seen the law itself, I cannot. Sir, meron kasing nilabas na statement yung uh, Teachers' Dignity Coalition saying that although they are thankful that the president has recognized uh, mm. their need for the salary increase, they're still disappointed kasi um, kung inadopt daw yung version ng Congress, mas mababa pa rin daw ito dun sa promise na 10,000 peso hike for the salary of teachers. Well, as we have said before, <clears throat> the promise of the president will be <clears throat> complied with maybe not this year, but his term has not yet ended. You must remember that the increase will depend on the funds that this government has. So meaning, sir, there's still a chance to meet the promise before his term ends. For as long as there is tomorrow, there is hope. Question, Joseph? Sir, yung sa effectivity lang po. So January 1, 2020, no? Yeah, so, hangga, up to ano yan, up to 2023. 23, sir, four tranches, the, yes. Four tranches. But as far as the first one is concerned, January 1, 2020. So, kailan nilang matatanggap yan dapat? January Ay, 15. Hindi ko alam. Parting yun. Um, do you change that as well, do you, sir? Huh? <laughs> 15 by well in the government. 15 30. 15 30. So, that's 15 na. I do not know the immediate implementation of this law. If it's effective January 1st, so. Yeah, I haven't Correct, seen sir. the law itself. January 1, 2020. So, can they na sa by the 15th? Meron na, ayok, ayok sila umasa. I haven't seen the law because they are in the kung kailan effective. In first sense, sir, one, January 1, 2020. So, kailan yun? 
It is in the law itself, but I haven't read it. Okay. Okay. Uh, other issue. Uh, Tina, questions. Wala na kain tanong. Oh, okay. Kailan do ba ilalabas yung kopya kasi naman? <clears throat> so what, what is definite is January, effective January one. Yung, ano, yung effectivity. I mean, what is definite is there is an increase in the salary grade. <laughs> that is definite. That <laughs> thing Questions, Joseph. So regarding uh, Iraq and Iran, no? um, the latest statement by uh, the U.S. president said that Iran appears to be <clears throat> standing down. No, ibig sabihin, um, they might not be a good news. <clears throat> good news for all of us. If the conflict has escalated instead of escalating, then that's good news for everyone, especially. Mm -hmm for our overseas workers. But nevertheless, the move to evacuate and repatriate is still going on. With, the, with regard to what countries? Iraq are? and Iran, and most likely Libya. Or Lebanon, yeah. Lebanon. OK, <clears throat> sir, so just to be clear about it. Tuloy yung evacuation, Iraq, Iran, Lebanon. Yes, unless, Even if unless the de-escalation reaches a point where the safety of our countrymen are no longer in peril. Oh, sir, thank you. MPC, questions. Now, uh, Maricel. <laughs> Sir, can you explain what will be the strategy of our of the government in uh, evacuating uh, the OFWs in Middle East? I mean, once ba na nag uh, express na yung OFW that they want to leave the country, mm. they can be easily uh, uh, bring to other countries. Is it like that? What or? I know is that there should there is a place where they will have to be evacuated, not repatriate kagad. Yun ang alam ko. But I mean, For those who would want, because uh, you cannot also force our overseas workers if he, he, they prefer to stay, like in Iran, where they're married to Iranians. Uh, I mean, sir, is there a need na halimbawa may <clears throat> nag-express na isa? Can you easily evacuate yung nag-iisang yun? Or do you have to wait for, let's say, 25 or... I do, not, I do not know the mechanics. We have to, I have to consult um, Secretary Belli on that. Questions, MPC. Joseph. Sir, comment lang ng mga devotees. Uh, mukhang medyo parang <clears throat> maigpit yung police ngayon this year. Ayan, no? Mukhang masyadong maigpit yung police natin this year because they were saying na mga naka-combat boots, tapos parang may mga heirs that were, they were not allowed to go near the Nazareno. May so, naka-combat boots yung mga uh, devotees? Hindi, sir, yung mga police po. And that caused several, some injuries uh, uh, to the devotees. Um, with regard to the, yung latag ng security ng PNP, they think, or some of them at least, think na medyo parang medyo mahigpit. What's your comment on it? Well, the PNP certainly has to undertake measures that will <clears throat> provide for the safety of those devotees it may be strict, but the goal is to protect them from any harm. Okay, Tina. So really related to security, we noticed that uh, there is tightened security inside the Malacanang compound today compared to yesterday. And uh, the, the presidential guards <coughs> are in full combat uniform. Uh, is there a threat at all? If None that I know of. Unless that is become standard. Okay. Francis, then Pia. Welcome back, Miss Pia. Good afternoon, sir. 
Sir, water issue lang. May update hmm. mo ba tayo sa <clears throat> kontrata na dinadrap? Wala pa. Sabi ni Secretary Guevara, it may take six months because there are <clears throat> many matters that have to be discussed and <clears throat> completed. Six months ang parang timetable na binigay ni Secretary Guevara, sir. So, Yan ang sabi niya. Okay. Sir, comment lang po sa banner ng Tribune po na allegedly may needed Manila Water and MWS colluded for profit, sir. That's why masyado raw tumaas ang Um, Could what? Uh, Nag-collude raw ang MWSS, yes. Manila Water, and Maynila. Nag-collude? Yes, sir. Para tumaas ang profit nila. Aling tatlo? Uh, MWSS, sir. Kasama po. Para map... Yeah. Uh, what, what is apparent to the President is that there has been a conspiracy between certain parties to <clears throat> commit this colossal fraud. and rip off. That is what is certain. Who are involved in this conspiracy is another matter. And if we find out who they are, then the law has to take its course, regardless of who are involved. Okay, Francis. Let me comment, by the way, by a statement I read about <clears throat> when Secretary Guevara mentioned that it might take six months to complete the contract. <clears throat> Some of those concessioners stated that it may affect the service because no banks, loans are forthcoming. Nabasa ko yan eh. Eh sabi ko, my reaction is, excuse me, you have raked billions of profits during the years from 1997 up to the present. What do you need loans for? Do you have the money in your pocket? Okay, Pia? Sir, once the, the new contracts are completed, will Malacanang publicize these documents? Well, as soon as uh, the contract is given to them and they accepted it or decline it, then we will have the necessary uh, publication. Kasi ito po yung sinasabi ng bayan muna. Uh, <clears throat> Malacanang should first publicize the supposed new water concession agreements to make sure... that there are no longer onerous provisions in the new deal and it is not eschewed for groups and individuals close to the president. Sabi ni Representative Carlos Sarate. Ito naman si kaibigan Congressman Sarate. Kaya nga nagkaguli dyan dahil may onerous provision. Kaya nga ayaw ni Presidente. Kamagalala, wala lahat siya. Sir, balik po dun sa... Uh, mandatory evacuation. May mga OFWs po, uh, particularly sa Baghdad, um, mm. na humihingi ng tulong sa gobyerno kasi apparently, hindi daw po sila pinapayagan na umalis ng kanilang mga employers. Yung iba pinapagbayad pa ng as much as 8,000 US dollars bago sila pakawalan. So, what will the government do to help these OFWs, sir? I will leave that to Secretary Bellio because he's the one in charge. Thank you, sir. Okay, questions? Ah, uh, Julie. Sir, pa-clarify lang po. May statement po si Secretary Bello earlier today na sabi niya the Filipinos in Iran and Lebanon are no longer covered by the mandatory repatriation. Ang um, recorda lang daw po is yung mandatory evacuation for OFWs in Iraq. So, ano po yung uh, pwede pong palinaw nun, sir? May kay naibahan po ba yung repatriation sa evacuation? Hindi ko alam yun. Yeah. I, I have to... Ask Secretary Bello why. Bago sa akin yun. Thank you, sir. Okay. Mag-last question na tayo, Joseph? Okay na? Okay na? Okay na? No more questions? Okay. Thank you, MPC. Thank you, Secretary Bello. I'm sorry. Panelo. Meron ba kayo ka na? 
Signal? Wala eh. Pati globe, wala rin. Okay, thank you back to our main studio sa Radio Pilipinas and People's Television Network.